Let's talk about the Port of Baltimore taking a huge step today toward fully reopening. That's right. A temporary pathway has been created for essential boats to navigate around the wreckage from last week's bridge collapse, which killed six people. Crews began the salvage operation this weekend, cutting down mangled steel and removing portions of the bridge piece by piece. President Biden is planning to go and see the damage for himself Friday. That's according to the White House. NBC News reporter Gary Grumbach is following the latest for us. So, Gary... Uh, good to see you. Maryland's governor gave an update a short time ago, from what I understand. What did he say? Yeah, he's the ongoing briefing as we speak. But the big headline out of this is that pathway that the Army Corps of Engineers has worked through the weekend to make and allow for vehicles and boats to get through the channel really only on an emergency basis. These are not going to be the exports and imports of the port actually getting through this. But this is so the boats and the ships that are involved in the fixing and the removal of the wreckage and the fixing of the bridge to get out there and be able to do their work safely. And this is part of the very slow methodical process that we have seen since this happened on Tuesday. Here's what Governor Wes Moore had to say just minutes ago. Let us not forget that we are coming out of a holiday weekend, but for the men and women of this operation, the work did not stop. The work did not stop surveying the area. The work did not stop on environmental monitoring. The work did not stop in developing better images of the wreckage so we can move forward in a safe and efficient way. And the other part of this that we saw over the weekend was the priority that the Biden administration is putting on getting this bridge back up and running. We saw Pete, Secretary Pete Buttigieg on the show, Sunday shows saying that uh, there will be money put towards this upwards of perhaps a billion dollars. And as you mentioned, President Biden will be there on Friday. And Gary, in addition to just the size of this bridge, it's also been raining all day in Baltimore. So how has that been complicating the salvage operations? Yeah, the weather has really impacted all week, frankly. On Friday, there were 30-mile-an-hour gusts that prevented the divers from actually getting underwater and trying to find what they believe to be the four bodies that are still underneath the bridge there, stuck in the water. Today, we're seeing that issue being the rain, where divers are unable to see even more than two feet in front of them, according to the governor. Gary Grum back with the latest. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.